Meghan Markle and Prince Harry missed a crucial lesson from the Queen, a royal commentator has claimed. Royal commentator Danielle Elza claimed the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could have learnt about the power of silence from the monarch. Ms. Elza said that if ever there has been a time in royal history when the 95-year-old has put that philosophy into blistering effect it has been over the last 365 days. The royal commentator highlighted how the Queen released a short statement days after Harry and Meghan's Oprah Winfrey interview a year ago, but has stayed silent since then. Ms. Elza said that Harry and Meghan, meanwhile, had only just started speaking their truth after their TV interview in March 2021. Writing for news.com.au, she said, at the time, it seemed like the palace was being woefully short-sighted, clinging to their time-honored modus operandi of impervious silence, rigidly refusing to engage or considering doing things differently in the face of even this unprecedented mess. However, with the benefit of hindsight, that has proven to be a shrewd approach to a febrile situation. No matter whether the Sussexes do have grievances that deserve to be properly addressed, and I think they have some, their repeated, self-righteous repeated airing of family dirty laundry has in fact only really dealt them a PR blow. The royal commentator added that Harry and Meghan both seem to have missed the crucial lesson, the Queen, could have taught them about not only the power but the dignity of silence. Ms. Elza's comments come after the Sussexes made a series of bombshell claims about the monarchy in their TV interview. Harry and Meghan accused an unnamed royal of racism against their son Archie before he was born and the institution of failing to help the Duchess when she was suicidal. Duke made further controversial comments during an appearance on the Armchair Expert podcast and his mental health documentary series The Me You Can't See in May 2021. And Harry is also set to release his tell-all memoir later this year. He previously promised the book would be an accurate and wholly truthful account of his life. Harry insisted his memoir would be penned not as the prince I was born but as the man I have become. The Sussexes are living in California after quitting as working royals in March 2020. Harry has returned to Britain twice since Meg's sit. But he will not be travelling from the US to the UK for Prince Philip's memorial service at Westminster Abbey on March 29th. Harry's spokesperson declined to comment on Friday as to the reason for his decision, but added that he hopes to visit his grandmother the Queen soon. It comes as he is embroiled in a legal battle with the Home Office over police protection for his family while in the UK. Thank mm -hmm. you.